Hello, I'm Deborah McGrath, Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager at ServiceNow. Over the next few minutes, I'll demonstrate two key benefits of ServiceNow Demand Workbench. The Demand Workbench provides business leaders with a centralized location for managing all types of demand, both strategic and operational, and capabilities to ensure that the right demands can be prioritized so your resources are focused on the work that's best aligned with your business strategies. The Demand Workbench makes it easy to manage, collaborate on, and prioritize demands by presenting multiple interactive views of demand information all on a single page. In the top pane, demand managers can assess demands on an interactive bubble chart. The bottom pane displays the demand details in a configurable list view. The bubble chart is a dynamically updated graph that plots metrics for multiple demand records. Demand managers use the bubble charts to visualize, compare, and evaluate relative standing of demands in three categories, risk, value, and size. The x-axis represents the risk of a demand, the y-axis represents value, and the bubble size represents the size of the demand. There are also four quadrants along the edges of the bubble chart that represent value versus risk. For example, the upper left quadrant labeled resource contains demands with high value and low risk, and green bubbles represent demands in this quadrant. The lower left and upper right quadrants labeled consider contain demands that require further evaluation. The lower left quadrant contains demands with low risk but low value, while the upper right quadrant contains demands with high value but high risk. Orange bubbles represent demands in these quadrants. The lower right quadrant, labeled reevaluate, contains demands with low value and high risk. Red bubbles represent demands in this quadrant. Each bubble also contains a label with the name of the demand. You can point to a bubble to view a summary of the demand. You can click a bubble to change the size of the demand. Dragging a bubble will increase or decrease the risk or value of the demand and you can right-click a bubble to view the demand record or promote it to a defect, enhancement, project, or other artifact, which will also remove it from the bubble chart. The lower pane of the demand workbench displays a list of the demands shown in the bubble chart. Any changes that are made to a demand in the bubble chart are automatically updated in the demand record in the list view. By default, the workbench displays demands screened by stakeholders or qualified by the demand manager. The stage column displays the status or progress of the demand. The list columns can be easily personalized to add or remove columns. And filters can be applied to further modify the view as desired. The demand column provides a link to the demand form opening a demand, we can see the progress of the demand at the top of the screen. Demands can be operational, such as a change or defect, and they can also be strategic, with types that include enhancement, project, program, epic, and feature. If the demand was generated from an idea, the demand is automatically linked to the originating idea and all information from the idea is automatically filled in the demand form. Related lists provide additional information about the demand, such as business case, financial details, stakeholders, resource plans, and more. We just demonstrated how ServiceNow provides a central location for managing all types of demand, both strategic and operational, with capabilities to ensure that the right demands can be prioritized so your resources are focused on the work that's best aligned with your business strategies. For additional information on Demand Workbench, visit servicenow.com itbm.